it is sort of a constant struggle to say I have a dream and like I'm pursuing it and there's really nothing you can do to stop me. Hey guys, Ayani here. Welcome to First Time Ever. Ivana isn't here with us today because I kind of decided to do this video last minute, but I really wanted to share with you guys some of the things I learned in 2016 because it was a big year for learning. I'm going to stop right here. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. We have lots of cool content coming up and even a video that's coming out right after this. So yeah, 2017 is going to be a big year for this channel and I really hope you guys can come and join our family here at First Time Ever and we're just really excited to have you. Okay, getting into what I learned in 2016. The first thing I learned in 2016 was that it's totally okay to ask for help if you need it. Sometimes I feel like people are like, oh, I don't want to ask for help, whether they're doing something like a project or like, you know, just to have someone to talk to if they need help. I had a photo shoot earlier this year and I wouldn't have actually done the photo shoot if I hadn't have had someone to talk to to be like, oh yeah, this is actually a really cool idea. So for me, I really learned how to ask for that, how to ask for help, whether it's on a project or whether it's on, you know, just having someone to talk to. Going back to the photography thing, it's one of the things that I really focused on this year and I'm really going to be focusing on in 2017. When I really learned a lot about editing and I really feel like I improved in that medium. One of my goals in 2017 is actually to take that further and create a business and it's one of my main goals so you'll hear about that in my video tomorrow. So yeah, that's one of the things that I really learned how to do was get better at Photoshop and get better at video editing. So yeah, that's exciting. In 2016, I really focused hard on focusing. Sometimes I think you have these dreams but you sort of forget to turn them into goals. When that happens you get a little sidetracked. I got super sidetracked in this like purgatory where dreams go to continue being dreams. One of the things that I really learned this year was how to make my wants and dreams a reality by creating small goals and achieving them. I created these plans for things like photography, this channel, um, life in general. So I do plan to make my goals a reality sometime within the next year. Not all of them but some of them and hopefully you know some of them are really successful. Somewhere in the process of learning how to make my dreams a reality, I also learned how to sort of defend my dreams and goals against people who really only want me to be what they want me to be. Which is a pretty useful skill when you're 20 and still living with your parents and you also aren't in any type of school. It is sort of a constant struggle to say I have a dream and like I'm pursuing it and there's really nothing you can do to stop me. It takes a lot of courage to live inside your hopes and dreams and to defend your right to do so. So for a long time I think that you know I would lie and say that I was fine about a lot of things like not going to school or not living in a city or town where I feel like I can be a success. It took me like a long time to like realize that that's not okay and that I, I'm not okay with it and so that's why I create goals for next year and I'm reflecting on like this year so that I can look and see like oh yeah well we have done some things. It took me a lot of time in like therapy to sort of realize that because after a while you're sort of like okay well happiness isn't for me. Some people that I come into contact with with, don't really understand like being a content creator and being on YouTube but we really do get a really good creative outlet from being on YouTube and we really do appreciate this platform as like something like you can do from anywhere and so that really does feel good to be doing YouTube every day so if we're like talking to someone and they don't really understand it or they're like trying to get us to do something that they want us to do we don't have to like explain ourselves to them we chose to do YouTube for now and if that's not like okay with whoever we're like talking to or explaining it to we don't have to explain ourselves to them and we also don't have to be all like you know sad about like our life the way that it is because we really do get so much creative outlet from doing YouTube so I know that I'm on the best path I can be on right now and if somebody tries to suggest that I abandon my dreams and my goals like I've gotten a little better at not letting their suggestions bother me so much I've also learned how to defend myself and my dreams and my goals when I'm in those situations and not really feel bad about it when I get home and think about it I'm not out of the woods with that but I do feel like I've improved at sort of not feeling so bad for telling people that I want to do what I want to do with my life and so yeah I'm not out of the woods but it's still an improvement I've learned some things so yeah so it's sometimes hard not to feel like a failure because um you know not doing exactly what I want to do in life but this channel is just proof that even on the worst day I can turn to creativity and come out feeling 100% better about my place in life I refuse to look at this the videos that we make the photos that I take um the work that nobody else sees I refuse to look at it and still see myself as like a failure because all the things we do here require hard work and dedication all the pictures we 
take, the time that we take to do anything creative is very time consuming and hard to do. So not everyone will understand how much hard work that is, but they will never understand and that's totally okay. I've sort of learned how not to let it bother me. So guys, that was a small list of things that I've learned in 2016. Hopefully next year the list will be much bigger. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because even though it seems like you're doing nothing, I felt like I was doing nothing last year, but actually I got this great channel and you guys are so supportive of everything we do. And we're just so thankful that you guys even watch our show so or our channel. <laughs> but yeah, we're just so grateful for you guys. Sorry Ivana wasn't here, but she will be here in our next video. Thank you guys so much for watching please remember subscribe us maybe or hit that subscribe button and also remember do things you haven't it's a new year I look at it like a new blank page it's a new blank page to write stuff on the canvas okay thank you so much for watching comment down below and let us know exactly what you liked about this year and what you learned bye 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 bye